With the forthcoming release of The Outer Worlds, developed by Obsidian, comparisons to a well-known and currently controversial franchise Fallout have been made. However, at the end of the day, are these comparisons even accurate? Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Before we get too deep into this one, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. All right, before we get into this one, look, man. As, as my homie Nethal say, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, one, ta I'm one take Mars, meaning that when I record these, I don't uploaded to some fancy program and chop this up chop that up i do this all in one take baby you know what i mean with that being said i got some people right now building a house next to mine <laughs> so this is gonna be some loud noise and i deeply apologize if that comes through in the audio but one take moss is gonna keep rolling all right we're gonna be all right with that said here's the deal y'all we got outer worlds coming out from obsidian it's getting a lot of you know attention but then people want to inherently compare it to Fallout 76. Is this even the proper, you know what I'm saying? Is this even the right thing to do? So, you know, in order to examine this, you know how your boy likes to do it. I'm going to chop it up into three parts. We got the checkup. We got the analysis. And then when we get to the meat and potatoes of the deal, baby, we got the prescription. So let's get into it. And as you can see, you got the outer worlds up on the screen, baby. So you can visually see what I'm trying to uh, exemplify to the listening public. All right. Let's get into it. Fallout has hit a rough patch. That is the Fallout franchise in 2018. Its latest iteration, 76, though reported as not a direct sequel, something different and you know what i'm saying it ain't let you know from the get-go this thing is not gonna be polished and it's a spinoff of the franchise it still got hammered because it didn't have the polish at the level that was acceptable to the mainstream gaming community all right and understandably so because they were so attached to the franchise following fallout 4. However, with all this crazy stuff going on in the space of Fallout and all the, the, the negative vibes that were sent towards to, uh, Bethesda because of it, to add insult to injury, Obsidian, who did make Fallout New Vegas and they had some, some, some riptides and some beef with Bethesda because of the development of that game, announced their own quote-unquote Fallout-like game to the fray, to the masses, at the Game Awards that same year after release. A month, as a matter of fact, after Fallout 76 released. Okay, now on to the analysis. So after the review of Outer Worlds, again, the game you see on your screen, the general gaming elitists and the public and the mainstream media and gamers that have, got a, that has, that have gotten a hold of this game, they are mutually fond of this this title all right and because of that it currently sits at an 85 slash 86 metacritic critic people are saying that the outer worlds though is the complete fallout experience that we were looking for uh and, and they say this right <laughs> because it's full of dialogue trees you know talking to little johnny about the tin cans in the corner of the boulevard was so as a to the fallout experience but i digress you know what i'm saying they say that because of the fall because of the dialogue trees and the smooth gameplay that they feel epitomizes and when i say they the mainstream gaming community feel epitomizes the essential fallout experience but let's talk about that all right on to the prescription first off you can beat this game by many accounts in six hours by avoiding simply by avoiding the side missions the main story quests you can get past in six hours now unless you're speed running or using some type of comic digest loop hole that's been embedded in the game by the developers you cannot play all of the main quests in that short amount of time in any post isometric fallout game period period also fallout is a post-apocalyptic game this is in outer space two t 
totally different environments, two totally different atmospherics as a result. If you don't play the game, you don't know that. But again, you gotta play the game in order for you to be the expert that you guys claim that you are. See, I don't get this. And gaming seems to be the only, the only community where you don't have to indulge in something in a respectable fashion in order to understand it fully. I mean, if I wanted to be a wine tester, I gotta taste wine, right? If I wanted to be a food critic, I gotta eat the food. But in gaming, you can simply run off of somebody else's emotions and now you become a master of everything in regards to that game. I just don't get it, but I, I, let, let me continue, okay? Also, this is more of a shooter. Look at what's going on in the screen. Look what's been going on the screen for the last minute or so. This is more of a shooter than any type of style that a mainline Fallout game has. Even their version of that, which I believe you would have seen in some of this footage that I'm playing right now, is still a lot more action-based. It just slightly slows down time, where that pauses time pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Big difference there in gameplay style and what it results in the gameplay. Two totally different gameplay styles again, and it's all visual right here in front of your faces. All right? Also, there was a lot more dialogue than in a typical Fallout game. Now, admittedly, this dialogue is reminiscent of Fallout New Vegas, which again, Obsidian developed, but that appears, within this game, appears to be, it appears to go even further than what was in Fallout New Vegas, okay? And then Fallout New Vegas, again, is just one game and a series of post-isometric games in the Fallout franchise, and again, because of that, it's not atypical for Fallout games to have this much dialogue in it, right? And I'm gonna I'm get to where that's a little bit more reminiscent of opposed to Fallout, but we'll get there again. So if anything, this game is a mash of some Fallout mechanics and those specific mechanics are character aesthetics and character building, melee attacking and loot, right? You look at the characters and stuff like that, they look more, a lot more polished and a lot more detailed versions of Fallout. You know what I'm saying? Um, the melee attacking is similar and the loot gathering is, is what's reminiscent of Fallout. However, you got matches of different other games, all right? In this, more notably, right? For instance, first and foremost, the action, the fast paced um, first person shooter action in this game, that's more like Borderlands, it's reminiscent of Borderlands. Again, if you don't play these games and you ain't played Borderlands, you're like, well, I'm a but everybody said Fallout. But if you've played Borderlands, you'll get what I'm saying, okay? Also, everything else in the game is reminiscent of Mass Effect. The real deep dialogue trees, the team parties, the galaxy sci-fi fantasy, and the team pace action RPG encounters. All that other stuff is reminiscent of what? Mass Effect, okay? So, at the end, so what's my point? What's my point? As my man Victor Allison, a, a big time supporter of the channel would say, MM2K, what the hell is your point here? Let me get to it. Too many of you are flipping high-minded idiots. You can't get past some superficial aesthetics. I get it, like we just looked at the screen and the terminal looks similar to what's in Fallout, but y'all can't get past just some of the superficial stuff, all right? And also, mainly, in your ever-festering quest to rally against the unthinkable hater of the world and babies, Fallout 76, you wanna superficially make some good guy equivalent. But I'm sorry. Regardless of those, those two idiot states of mind, these are two totally different freaking games. I get that the developments have been exploiting the comparisons, and that's what you're thinking. MM2K is not our fault. Obsidian's been doing it. Obsidian's been saying this. Obsidian's been saying this. But no, you don't get away with that one either, because that's their job, idiots. Their job is to sell the freaking game. And one of the biggest gimmick points that they could sell the game on is they look. Fallout 76 flop. This is the real Fallout and we made Fallout New Vegas that is a mainstream favorite. But look at this game. The action.
action in this game is nothing like Fallout. Stop. Look, even though that's their job to come up with gimmicks to sell their game and you can't be mad at them about that, your job is to do some damn due diligence before talking out the size of your asses. There are gallons and gallons and, and just endless amounts of gameplay out there, even though at the time of this recording, the game hasn't officially released. 40 minute gameplays here, our gameplay here, you're looking at an example of what? All right, and they've been out there for months showing you what this game is. So at the end of the day, please, I implore you, please, stop with the idiot herd, have minded conveyor belt battery in the back, mix everything in the pot like Gumbo approach, you torn sickles have towards everything. Everything. Respect Outer Worlds for what it is, a nice mashup of some highly regarded franchises. However, still, respect Fallout for what it is, a long ass post apocalyptic journey and looting RPG. Despite your feelings about one freaking spinoff from the franchise, okay? Don't let your cramps get you down that much, okay? Just, just grab a Kotex and some mod all laying down for a little bit until you dumbasses can think straight again, all right? Please! And with that, that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say with some of my sneak distance towards the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> towards the idiot herd in the comment section below. You know what I mean? Let me know what you think. Um, and Because at the end of the day, who cares what I think? And if you did like what I had to say, you can catch me in the corner every ball of art. Check out the links below to follow me, whether it's here with PNTS, whether it's with the broadband bullies, or whether it's on the hard knock digital culture where we highlight hardcore gaming and all that good stuff check it check out the links to everything below and with that said you guys have a wonderful wonderful gaming day enjoy outer world peace